On Monday, around 600 area students got a surprise they probably won't soon forget. Kevin Love made an appearance at the Teen Mental Health and Safety Summit put on by Parma Schools on World Mental Health Day. Our Monica Robbins talked to him one on one about how he now deals with the everyday struggles of anxiety and who he credits for helping him through it. This morning, we're running that full extended interview. If you could go back and do it all over, like some of these kids yeah. this age, what would you have done differently? I you know, so many people say, oh, I wouldn't change a thing, right? For me, I, I would. I, I would go back and I'd be a better leader, um, somebody that um, I know that, that people you know, looked up to me, but I, I would have found a way to impact people's lives at an earlier age in a better way. You use the word vulnerable several times today. Yeah. Why is that word so important these days? Uh, it's important because everybody, a lot of, everybody's struggling, you know? A lot of people are struggling. Everybody's going through something um, that we that we can't see. I mentioned that so many times, but I, I truly believe it. It might not be you in, in first person, but somebody within arm's distance is going through something. And you know, to, to spread a word of kindness or, or to be empathetic, to be vulnerable, you know, whatever it may be, even just landing a, a helping hand or an ear for to listen to somebody like that. That can go a long way. That can, again, like I said out there too, like changing one person's life can change an entire community. Like you just never know whose life you're going to affect in a positive way. You started the fund in 18 in September. It's been four years now. You promised to hit a billion people. Mm -hmm. You came pretty close today. Yeah, we have lofty goals, but again, like I said, it's not its not just the people you see here, it's not just the people that, you know, penning that open letter or starting the, the, the Kevin Love Fund and the social emotional learning curriculum with all these kids, all these students. It's, you know, how many people you can affect because you affected those people that, you know, have gone through it, those people that, you know, the Kevin Love Fund actually touches. So, again, to quantify that number is, is pretty, pretty hard, but again, we wanted to shoot for something that was you know, pretty lofty and pretty hefty, but uh, again, I think we've done a good job in these first four years of, of making an impact in the right places. You realize that letter when you wrote it in March of 18, it was before the pandemic, and what happened during the pandemic, you said so yourself, the numbers are staggering. What you did, the ripple effect that you had, what does that mean? Um, well, you know, it's, I, I guess, I, I can't say that we got lucky. That's not the right thing to say, but I think the timing of it was much needed. I think it's it's even more so, yeah, like you said, coming out of the, the pandemic and the time that we're in now where there's a lot of discourse, there's a lot of people separated, opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, you know, just getting people to try to feel that sense of togetherness and, and community, I think, can, can make a big impact if we can play a small part in it. Something everyone can learn from you. What are the things you do not start your day without doing? Um, my routine, I, I've, I've said it a million times too, like my routine is, is everything. I think it's part of being an athlete. Um, but just being grateful, um, you know, for all the things, the small things that, you know, you can't put a price tag on in your life. And, you know, again, one of those things is my dog, so I'm making sure I'm taking care of her first in the morning, feeding her, letting her go outside, and just, uh, you know, that physical touch for me in the morning, you know, having something that loves you so much is, is, is a non-negotiable for me. So my, uh, my little girl, Vestry, for sure. That was what I was going to ask yeah. you about. Vestry and Kate, I'm yeah. sure, has a lot. Absolutely, both of them, 100%. You, you had talked about in other interviews that your dad wasn't capable of, of teaching you these things because he came from a generation where mm -hmm. was suck it up, let it go. Sure. Have you talked to him since then about this, and, and what is his reaction? Oh, yeah, my, my whole family. Um, yeah, my brother was probably the one that uh, stuck out to me the most, and my sister, for that matter, about... You know, just kind of the things that we saw and dealt with when we were when we were younger. Um, you know, I guess you know we all had our own stressors and, and pressures as as you know young kids. But you know, the age that everybody was out here uh, today was a time in my life and a time in you know our collective life as the three kids that you know we were all going through something that um, each one of us you know kind of saw but never really talked about because I think it was a, a different era and a different time from you know when my parents came from so we uh, didn't really discuss that um, you know at the dinner table but I think you know for you know when, when I have kids and Kate and I have kids that uh, those things will be discussed because kids should be allowed to be vulnerable and I think it's a you know a new age of being able to open up and, and you know be stronger because of it. 
Love hearing his insight there. Now that summit, which his fund helped put on, will now be an annual event with Parma Schools. I was also there Monday covering it. I was so impressed by what I saw. Such a great effort there. You can check out the full report on that as well at WKYC.com. But I was there and was so impressed. It was 600 students from 20 districts across Northeast Ohio all coming together just to have a space to talk about mental health and right. access services and resources in the community, which growing up, I don't think is something that, you know, I certainly ever had or that kind of open conversation or resources. So it was great for these students. I didn't either. And yeah. to have Kevin Love such a good role model, I mean, mm -hmm. he does so much, you know, advocate work for mental health to have him show up at that school with all those kids. Boy, they had to be excited about that. You know, oh my it just kind of hits at home. Yeah. It, so good stuff. Yeah.